Are you using Todoist or looking to use Todoist and you want to be able to email your tasks into Todoist? If so, you're in the right place. We're gonna jump into that, so let's get going. All right, there are some really interesting and great ways to use emails to send into Todoist, whether it's creating a task, whether you're um, adding it to a task, but let's just get into this and I'll show you how to do this in a couple different scenarios and you can decide how you want to do that. Now, if you look at this, you'll initially see it looks like you have to use a project. That's what I found when I was first using uh, Todoist, it sounded like you could only do that using projects. And if we go in here, let's click on a uh, project and we come in here and we click on these three dots up here and we scroll down, we can see this, boom, email tasks to this project. Now, if we click on that, you can send or forward an email to this to create a task. It says the email subject will become the content while the body will be added as a comment. You can just copy the email and send that in there. Now, there's some very cool things you could do with this, right? You could think out a little bit and do some automations with this where anytime, you know, something moves in a different system, it gets added um, as, uh, to, or gets sent as an email into Todoist. Um, there's some cool stuff you could do with that, but let's just say maybe you occasionally you wanna forward an email. Just be aware that the subject line will become the content, right? And the body will be added as a comment. You can also set due dates. Um, just use the date tomorrow, and uh, again, and the actual date you want it to be, and either the subject or the body. Um, and it just, you know, a reminder here, you can go in and find out all this information in here about how to do a format their dates. You can also label by using the at and then whatever the label is in the subject or the bodies, and then you can set priorities, all right? So that's pretty cool. So that's in a project. Now, this is nice too, because you might be thinking, well, I want it to go to my inbox. I don't always want, you know, stuff to go into a project or I want to be able to just, you know, put it in the inbox and then put it somewhere else later. Well, you can also do that exact same thing with the inbox. You can come in, email project or email tasks, and your inbox counts as a project. It's exact same thing, set up, copy the email, use it as you need to. But how about an actual task? So here is a task, and if we click into it, we can see we've got, again, the, uh, more actions, and we can, of course, add comments via email. So if you already have a task set up, emailing to that task uh, adds comments from whatever you send in. All right, so those are a few different ways you can use email and forward it or send it into Todoist to create tasks or create comments on already set up tasks. I'm Adam with Productivity Academy. If you enjoyed this video and like uh, other videos on Todoist, other productivity apps, how to save time, be efficient, you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel down below. Also in the description down below, uh, you can find more information about the email newsletter to stay up to date with that as well as some unique information and also the resources that I use regularly to not only do this, but also to run my businesses. Again, you can check that all out in the description down below.